Alright guys, so hello and welcome back to another exciting adventure on Dork Ninja Gaming. I'm Ninja Andrew, and with me as always is... Ninja Misty. She's super awesome. Okay, so... <laughs> we are going to be doing Gorilla Island today. So, I'm going to go into my on-duty tab here in my start menu and go tab over to the four players alert uh, and it's a low level so we're just gonna hit that real quick and queue up for it and if this takes more than a second we'll just uh, edit out the wait for you guys so we'll join you back in a second when we get into the bit Alright guys, so we are here, just waiting for things to load in a little bit. There's a store here, I think you can buy like, health there if you need it with the colas. Intruders, sound the alarm. Basically you want to head in here, uh, there's like a whole bunch of boxes that you can pick up. Just whatever you see, go for it if it's killing guys or picking up the boxes and carrying them back. Uh, there are also teleporter consoles that we'll get to, uh, that we have to shut down to make the gorillas stop coming into the area. So there's a whole bunch of gorillas here. One of the things I like to do when I first come into the area, there's a whole bunch of gorillas along either side of the room throwing these red barrels down. They can be a bit of a hassle just hitting you with, like, extra damage. Uh, so if you take them out, it just makes it easier for everybody on the ground level. Particularly if you're below level 30. Oh, definitely, yeah. Getting a lot of these gorillas on you can be, uh, deadly. <laughs> definitely. Actually, I can see the guy below me here. He's probably going to need some help. Let's see what I can do. There we I go. see one dude. Where is he? These are these teleporter uh, controls here. Oh, that guy's resetting. Let's see if I can get away with. If I shut this down, it'll stop gorillas from teleporting in on those two pads right there. You can see now they're screwed up. We'll see if he f figures that out. He comes and attacks me later. I try and shut this one down too. There's this other guy is just running around all frenetically and I can't heal him. Where are you, dude? <laughs> uh, if they, if they want to run away from the healer, then I say they get what they get, you know? He got it. It looks like he, uh, but I don't even know where he went. He came out and I was trying to heal him, but he had a pack <laughs> of gorillas behind him and I was trying to Dispatch those. There you go. So you got the two more consoles there. One got taken out. I'm carrying a box back. You know? But honestly, yeah, it's funny when they... <laughs> Just remember, guys, you have to be in range of the healer to actually... Get any of the heals. Get any of the healing. Alright, I'm going to take out the guys on this other, like, raised area with the balcony. I'm like, that's another thing that is like, probably not helping out too much that like, I'm not throwing power to the group and everything, but like, it's kind of, these guys are so easy to kill really when it comes down to it, you just want to not get too many on you and like, it's, it's not like this is like a really intense spot where they, they're going to need like a ton of ton of power to get through. For sure. Yeah. It's like if we just get it done, we'll get through here faster, and that's more likely to get the speed run. Feats, so are you, you using know? your power to focus on attacks? Is that what you're saying? Basically. You know what I mean? For that part of it. Because you can see now, like, there, there aren't many gorillas around anymore. I'm grabbing this green investigation token here. 
in the middle. Here is salvage report. I don't yet understand this spacecraft manual, but I'm sure we'll And they completed, like, we completed everything, you know? Without any problems. You cannot hope to best me, but I encourage you to try. And that green has a duplicate over to the side, correct? Yes. Over there. Okay, so now we gotta defeat Tiny. Who is a huge, massive gorilla. Wait, I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he's tiny. Yep. He was the runt. There we go. Nicely done. We've received the teleported crates. Be on guard. The enemy is bound to respond to your actions. So will we do the blue collection after? Yeah, yeah, we'll just go through the... Ultra humanite. The mass right now that will do right those blue ones at the end. So you must find the system launch. So you wanna like sort of fly the along the lava bed until you find the door that you can go through here. Free I find this is the easiest way to get into this area. Subjects, so they may flee before You'll also find through here barrels, explosion barrels and healing barrels. Some are more concentrated, lots of healing barrels in the end fight, so use those to your advantage as well. That's right. Or if you want to hang out and get your feats for blowing up red barrels, it's not a bad fight to do it in at the beginning there, where they just spawn constantly. Here you're just killing all the gorillas and going around and activating on consoles. I think you also have to rescue people in the cages. Yeah, the test subjects or whatever. It'll all have activation symbols on it. There's really nothing too difficult in this entire thing. It's just if you're like low level or undergeared and you've never done it before and queue up to do it as soon as it's available, you could have a little bit of trouble with it. If your group was like not the best. Die, for sentient life. Lots of gorillas will just insult you. <clears throat> I somehow have managed to get a gigantic you group have of some friends. <laughs> there we go. Always making friends. Should it should have told me you were throwing a party. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was gorilla only. You know? Aha, uh -huh, dang it. They're particular about who they socialize with. I'm sure. There we go. So there's two more uh, investigations here, guys. And they are actually like two individual ones, so you can select both. UGA salvage report. With this device, our ultra gorilla army will have. UGA salvage report. It's possible the ultra humanite can use this to extract really from other substances. And just be careful, you know, running off if you're low level by yourself in these type of areas because you can all of a sudden find yourself in a sticky situation. Definitely. Once you've gotten all of the ones down the main floor, you gotta somehow get up here near the balconies and rescue the last few humans and get the last couple computers. So there's one here, and then over here on the other side of the room, there's another area like that. Nothing can prevent our victory! <laughs> There we go. You should have stayed in your mindless shopping malls, humans. This is no place for your stunted intellects. Uh, so is what he's trying to say, if you shop at the mall, you have a stunted intellect? I think that's what he's saying, but, you know, Surely that just doesn't sound like a good argument. I totally disagree. I think we know who has the stuff to do in the life. Dang gorillas. Dang it. Let's go to the mall.
Alright, so the meat on that because I picked it up. And I'm gonna pass it. There we go. Okay, so you wanna like find the somewhere to fly out of the building. You're heading over to this next area. Uh, where there are quite a few gorillas, quite a few consoles to activate on, and then there's a secondary mission that will open up once we've gotten partway through, so. We will grab this, and follow Ninja Misty down the Ninja Path. UDA salvage report. I surmise these flashing lights measure superior intelligence. Basically, it's a good spot to come in to the gorillas from because you can fight them sort of like in small groups uh, as you go around the top of the building from this direction. If you try to go from the ground floor or from up here, you might end up with just a few more on you at once than you really want. But also, like, these guys are so easy right now. It feels like one hitting them, but, you know, or one shotting, but. Definitely. Just because they don't even, like, really get in any shots that hurt you. You know? They have a lot to say, but they oh really God, backed yeah. up. You're about to become ultra human. Sweet. I want to be ultra human. What does that even mean? Well, if you have to ask. Well, like compared to a gorilla, or aren't I already ultra human? You'd think so. You know? You'd be wrong. <laughs> Do I just have to go to the mall more? Yes. I see. <laughs> just do it to the max. find yourself in one of these for your first time, try to stick with like the healer in your group. If there isn't a healer, I would say try to stick by like a tank. Or if there isn't a tank, look for barrels and stuff. You know, try to make the best use of everything that's available. This is like the last console. When he hits this, it's or when somebody hits this, maybe it'll be me. Oop. Nope, there you go. Okay, it's gonna, there's four sets of missiles. Now to set the detonation timers on the missiles. The moment they are set, get yourself out of the area. Your final mission will be to deal with Ultra Humanite himself. And you can see them. That was three of them that you just saw with me, and then there's there's a couple more that are like down underneath in here. I'm gonna hit this one. Yeah. Ten seconds to detonation. That's the other one, I think. So, Five, I'm gonna head out four, here. Three, two, one. Wait right over here. I have here. to fight Furious George. With his fists of fury. You have defeated the others, but your path ends here, for I possess. The Fists of Fury! Buddy, and you know it's Fists of Fury because he made his angry gorilla sound. You know? Where, where are these Fists of Fury at, bro? I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> you tell him. Do you know? That's another location up there for a yellow uh, collection. The ultra humanite is well protected in, in the command bridge of the alien vessel. 
You will have to stand against his oh, toughest no interloper will thwart the rise of my ultra gorillas. Gorillas, defeat them while I finalize my calculations. Da, da, da. If this guy's an ultra human, I don't want to be an ultra human. Once my Doesn't ultra look very sustainer human turrets to me. are active, nothing will stand Wasn't in my he way. a human before and then turned Earth into Earth. ultra humanite? Could be. Yeah, he was originally a human. Pretty sure. It's just strange that being ultra human to me to him means becoming more like a gorilla. Maybe he has a thing for monkeys. Yeah. I prefer brain over That's brawn, just weird. But for now, Braun must fight. I agree. You know? You don't even know the square of pie, you fool. Hmm. Convert those Hi. hostages at once. <coughs> Alright. I just like to take out as many of these guys as possible. Usually, like, that's... I don't really have to at, with the amount of armor that I'm wearing at this point, but, like... Just Must if... Do whenever anybody clear. does Prepare this, those turrets if for the first time, you should probably clear out as many of those guys as you can. And then once Ultra Humanite becomes available to be attacked, you gotta go and do as much damage as you can to him. Repair those turrets immediately. There we go. Okay. So he's got his turrets around the room. Let me uh, be clear. Repair those turrets or face my wrath. He will send out like gorilla engineers Guards, to like I require your immediate repair assistance the turrets. So you just want to keep an eye on them. He has two of them are lava turrets. Two of them are um, sustainer turrets or something like that. The and turrets it's, like, are compromised. Repair them. Guards, quickly. There we go. I so require he's, your immediate assistance with these intruders. He's calling in his his engineers so they might repair the turrets. If they repair the sustainer turrets, those will heal him. The lava turrets will just do damage to you, so just keep an eye on those, basically. You want them to be down while you're attacking him, and if they're down, just go nuts on him. Repair those turrets. I and go for the sustainer turrets first, so he doesn't get healed. Get healed, right. Like, this guy, I can see him, oh, over here, this is an engineer. Gotta make sure he doesn't bring that up. There you go. Then I can go back to fighting, just keeping an eye on those other Guards, turrets. I require oh, your there's another engineer. That's the other thing, it's just if you can kill the engineers before they get to the turrets, that's just as good. There's also several orange barrels around the area that'll keep respawning. Guards, I require your immediate assistance with these intruders. Very easy to stay powered Guards, and heal and just your destroy him. With these intruders. Guards, I require your immediate assistance with these intruders. Guards, I require now we're your also beating him pretty fast intruders. here, but if you've been playing along with our videos and have seen how we've gotten our armor and stuff like that, then it shouldn't be any more difficult. I'll just skip the movie Nash just put an end to ultra humanized plans it'll be long and about the ultra doors. humanize so the plan it's all good were I ultra humanite I would fear gorilla gods retribution and we got speed beat. more than punish the justice league's hands you have done well Martian manhunter out and like getting the speed beat, like that's another reason why it's good to do things the way we've been doing them because you know, first time getting the speed feed, it means you have access to the defeat points that are going to get you the skill points that you need to go on and do more stuff from here. Woo! I think he likes us. Boom. Nice. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's like Bizarro. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Okay, so blue collection? Yes, I'm just gonna check this briefly. 
pass on that, pass on that. Okay. So blue collection, you've got one down here. I'm Jack Ryder and you are wrong. Why? Because you think humans are the only intelligent species on the planet. Sorry, friend. Because not so long ago, aliens crash-landed on a tiny island and their technology created a race of genius gorillas. And now, the ultra-humanite has stolen their technology. Think I'm joking? You are wrong. Jesus, Jack, just chill, man. Um, okay, so that's another of the uh, yellow collections there. I'm just going to show, like, this is the area where we fought Ultra Humanite. There's the two teleporters. If you, like, come out into the lava area beyond them, that first blue one is sort of, like, across the way just a little bit underneath this thing. Just to give them a bit of a better frame of reference for where that is. And sure. then, I think it's only four of them, right? So I don't think, I think there's just one. I don't think there's one on that side. I think it's on the other side. Okay, so we've got another one on this little girder sticking out here. This is a top security transmission from Amanda Waller to Sarge Steel. I'm pulling the Suicide Squad from Gorilla Island. The Justice League and the Society are already deployed. I say let them take on the Ultra Humanites' delusions of grandeur. We have Brainiac to sabotage. Okay, so that's like the the second one there, like from what we were collecting, is just to the right of like the the area with all the missiles or whatever. To the left of the area with all the missiles, there's another one on another road. So we're just gonna come up here about that. They kind of mirror each other. Yeah, definitely. This is Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live. Star Labs confirmed today that the technology used by Gorilla Grodd in his attempt to devolve Metropolis is alien in origin, and likely the same technology that the body-swapping scientist Ultra Humanite is using to hold the world hostage. While Grodd himself has escaped custody, his devolution and broadcast technology remain in Star Labs' custody. Okay, and then this is like that first like stretch when you come out after beating Tiny, the first boss, that's the door. I'll just show here. Okay. Here's the door here. When you come down along this path, lava path, there's this beam or whatever sticking out here that we're gonna just go and grab the last one from. This is Vicky Vale for Gotham Now. The villain, Ultra Humanite, has issued a worldwide ultimatum. Pay his ransom or be turned into Ultra Gorillas. The Ultra Humanite was considered a brilliant scientist until his mind transference studies were banned worldwide. Now he occupies the body of an enormous white gorilla. Will we join him or will the world pay his ransom? Stay tuned. Okay, so that's like, that's everything in Gorilla Island. We could fly over to the exit, but uh, it just takes more time. So, you know, that's that's everything. All the collections, briefings, investigations, or at least a few different collection locations. So hopefully that'll help people find stuff. And, yeah. uh, you know, uh, join us again next time where we'll be doing... Long... Ooh, no, the hive. The hive? Okay. The hive? Long. Either Ooh. one of those. Hey, <laughs> tune in. We'll be doing something. Something. Excellent. <laughs> we'll be doing something. We always do things. There we go. <laughs> and we will see you guys next time for more Dork Ninja Gaming. Absolutely. Bye.